Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how I do my brows. I got some stuff from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills and I thought I might show you guys how I use those products. So um, just to start off, I'm gonna put away my bangs. Yeah, then I'm gonna use a primer, Brow Fix, Dip Brow from Made. And I'm using dark brown, I think it's a perfect shade for me. As you can see, I've shaded off like the ends of my eyebrows. And that's because I want to draw them more upwards and outwards. So I'm gonna draw in actually like half of my brow. And I'm using the dip brow and the Anastasia number 12 brush. This one is really good. A little goes a really long way. And then you just start with lining your uh, lower and your upper lines and then I'm gonna fill in between the lines and stop right there I don't go all the way in because I like it when it's a gradient effect. I'm gonna have a lighter color right here and then it's gonna go darker. You can take this a little spoolie and brush so you get like a more even color. Next side. So you start off with the a line. I usually start with the bottom line and just let the pencil pretty much do the work. I just follow my my brow bone um, and then it's time to connect. Yeah, this is like the hard part to get the wing the right shape. And then getting the other wing to match, that is not easy always. <laughs> So if you do one line, you'll see that if you need to go higher or lower than what you just did and I needed to go higher. So I'm going to go... Yeah, that looks better than the first line. That I need to go pretty, pretty much of an, I don't know, bow right here to make it look good when I'm looking straight ahead because otherwise it looks pretty like down so I need to really go like this for it to look good. Brow Pro palette. Oh, sorry. There. The blonde. Right here. These colors are so soft. The I mean, they're amazing on the brows. They look so amazing. Soft and nice. This one, the darker part of the soft brow. And the rest of the brow, um, Ober. I've been uh, actually using ebony and chocolate before, like on the other parts, but I'm gonna try Auburn because I think it's just a tiny bit lighter. Yeah. So you can mix and match any color. Taking this darker one on the um, lower line. And also why I'm using a darker color on the end is because I want it to blend in with the um, with my the hair part because that always turns out darker so I need to make this darker to, to blend it in more easily. Tiny bit of dark chocolate. Tiny tiny. Time for some concealer. This one is also from Anastasia. I love this packaging. Um, it's the number one. And I've also used this concealer in my face today, and it works so great. I have the Anastasia um, concealer brush as well, but I used it with like a green yesterday, so I'm not gonna use that one today because I do not want green skin. 
So I'm actually using an Inglot one. It's 22. It's so simple to just glide on and then blend it out. It's really easy. Uh, brow gel and I'm using Auburn actually so it looks like this I always forget to show you and take out the little wand and just brush it what I love about this one is that it doesn't come out too much color at once yay okay um, that's pretty much all I do um, to get my brows this way. I'm just gonna get my bangs back in place. I hope that I could teach you something and um, if you have any questions or if I left something out um, just comment and ask me and I'll answer and um, you can find me on Instagram it's Janmiya Makeup and uh, I will see you there. <laughs> okay bye bye